this is Miss Eva again with West Georgia Technical College Adult Education Department. Um, I am finishing up the second part of lesson two, um, whole number operations, number sense, and problem solving, and we are going to talk about multiplication and division today. I'm going to go through the example problems with you, um, but I'm going to put a link in the description to Khan Academy. Um, if you do not know how to do multiplication and division, please go and click on that link, go to those videos, and see um, what you can learn. Um, I don't have time to teach you how to multiply and divide on these videos, uh, but I will work through the examples with you that introduce the lesson, so hopefully um, you will be able to get that done on your own. All right, so let's look at our first problem. It just gives us a couple numbers to multiply, and that is 24 and 63. So I'm gonna write that on the board. I put up here um, a few words to cue you in when you're doing word problems that will let you know whether you'll be multiplying or dividing. Um, if you're gonna be doing multiplication, they may ask you for the product of some numbers, or they may ask you to combine groups of numbers, that will be your keywords to let you know you'll be multiplying. Um, if the word problem calls for you to do division, then it will probably ask you for the quotient, or it'll ask you to divide something into equal groups. In our first example, it just asked us to find the product of these two numbers. So what we're going to do is start in our ones place, and then we'll multiply our ones times ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and so forth. But we start on the right hand side when we're multiplying. So 3 times 4 is 12. We're going to put our 2 down because that's in our 1's place. The 1 is in the 10's place, so we're going to carry that over and regroup. Now we have 3 times 2, that is 6, plus we have to add the 1 that we brought over, that will give us 7. All right, now we're going to multiply times 6, and because 6 is in our 10's place, what we need to do is we need to put a zero placeholder in our ones place because we're not dividing, or excuse me, multiplying times ones now, we're multiplying times tens, so there won't be a digit in that ones place. So we put a zero in to hold it so that we can keep our numbers lined up. So six times four is 24. We'll put our four down, we'll carry our two. Six times two is 12, plus two would be 14. And when we're multiplying anything down below the original multiplication problem, we're going to add. So now let's add 2 times 0 is 2. 4 times, excuse me, 2 plus 0 is 2. 7 plus 4 would be 11. So we'll put our 1 down, carry the other 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. And then there's nothing to add the 1 to, so we'll just bring that down. And our answer is 1,512. So 24 times 63 is 1,512. All right, the next problem that it gives us is a word problem. And it uses the word dividend, divide, quotient, and divisor. So I just wrote this here so that you would know what each of those words mean. Your dividend is the word that um, is the number inside of the bracket in your division problem. Your divisor is the number that you're dividing by, and your quotient will be your answer. And the word problem that it gives us is at a garage sale, three children sold their toys for $54. What is their equal share? Okay, we're equal groups here. Cues us in that we're dividing. So we'll take the $54 that they earned at the yard sale. We'll divide that by the three children that put toys in the yard sale, and we'll see how much each child earned, okay? So let's look at the first number in our uh, dividend, um, and let's we see that it is a five. So what we have to do is decide what number we can multiply times three that will get us close to five without going over, okay? Three times one is uh, three. Three times two is six. That's too high, so we'll have to stick with the number one. So now we have one times three is three. And when we're dividing everything below that original problem, we're going to subtract, okay? So five minus three leaves us with two. We bring that next number down. So now we have 24 divided by three, okay? 
Um, this is one of those things that they probably will not allow you to use your calculator um, on these types of problems on the GED exam. So you really do need to know your multiplication tables. Um, if you don't know those, I would suggest getting some flashcards or something to help you because the best thing to do with learning multiplication problems is you're just going to have to memorize those. Okay, so 24 divided by 3. Um, 3 times 1 is 3, so that's really too low. We looked at 3 times 5, that would give us 15, that's still a little low. 3 times 10 would give us 30, that's a little high, so we could kind of go down from there. But since I do know my multiplication tables, I can tell you that 3 times 8 equals 24. So we're going to put 8 here. Now we have 8 times 3 is 24. We subtract that, and we have a zero remainder. So that means that that $54 can be divided evenly between those three children, and they will each get $18 dollars a piece okay and then it gives us one more example um, and that is going to be uh, 1006 divided by 4 so I'm going to erase these to give myself a little bit of room all right and so we have 1006 divided by 4 okay. so now we have Let's look at our first number. That's a 1. That is less than 4, so we need to go to the next digit. That will give us 10. All right, 4 times 1 would be 4. 4 times 2 would be 8. 4 times 3 would be 12. That would be too high. So we're going to stick with 4 times 2. All right, I do not put my 2 over this first number because we didn't divide 4 into 1. We divided 4 into 10. So my 2 will go over that second number. So now we have 10 divided by 4. We multiply 2 times 4. That will give us 8. Okay. And when we line that up, our 8 is going to go underneath the 0. We'll subtract that. 10 take away 8 is 2. We bring down our next number, which will be 0. And now we have 20 divided by 4. Well, 5 times 4 is 20. So let's put a 5 right beside that 2. Now we'll multiply 5 times 4. That gives us 0. We still have this 6 over here, so we need to bring that 6 all the way down. So now we have 6 divided by 4. Well, 4 times 2 was 8. That was too high, so we're going to stick with 4 times 1. 1 times 4 gives us 4. We subtract that. 6 take away 4 is 2. So in this problem, it did not divide out evenly. We have a remainder of 2. We can bring this up um, and put R2 for remainder 2. And I think that's as far as they want us to go here. They don't want us to do any fractions. They just want us to list the remainder as 2. Um, so if you would like to turn to this lesson in your Kaplan GED book and work on the next few problems, um, these examples that I've done should help you to get through this lesson. Thanks, and have a great day.